Hello, hi, and assalamualaikum, everybody. Welcome to my English class. Okay, so for today's video, we are still in module six, getting around from your Get Smart Plus four textbook all right so for today's video we are going to be looking at page 62 and 63 and this video is going to be based on teacher fira's worksheet uh, but if you don't have her worksheet then don't worry because this worksheet is based on your get smart plus four textbook so the questions are all the same so alam dia semua sama sahaja but if you do want to get your hands on it kalau kamu nak dapatkan worksheet teacher fira uh, madam akan letak link ke website teacher fira or blog teacher fira di dalam ruangan deskripsi di bawah so you can go ahead and click on it and then download and print them out if you want to okay so let's start with some simple reading which can be found on page 62 about these three types of transportations okay, so let's listen to the first one different means of transport A tuk-tuk looks like a motorbike with three wheels. The driver sits in the front and two to three people can sit in the back. Many tourists take tuk-tuks in Thailand. They can be faster than taxis. Riding in tuk-tuks is fun and exciting too. Gondolas are long boats. In the past, people used them in Venice, Italy to get from one place to another. Gondolas are very slow. Riding in a gondola isn't very comfortable, but tourists love it. People ride snowmobiles on snow. Snowmobiles haven't got wheels. They have got skis. They can go very fast. Snowmobile drivers have to wear a helmet and very warm clothes. It can get very cold on a snowmobile. Okay, everybody. So now that you have listened to all three types of transportations, which are tuk-tuk, gondola and snowmobile. Uh, so now we are going to do practice or exercise two found on page 63. So let's see the first one. It has got wheels. So which transportation do you think this is? Yes, it's the Tuk tuk, and the second one. It's a kind of boat. Ini adalah sejenis boat. Obviously, it's a gondola. Number three. It hasn't got wheels. Dia tak ada roda. It's a snowmobile. Next one. It's slow. Ianya perlahan. So, di antara ketiga-tiga transportations, uh, the one that is slow over here is a gondola next one drivers have to wear warm clothes so pemandu yang menaiki kenderaan ini perlu memakai pakaian yang tebal yang panas buat dia orang memandu di dalam salji uh, so the answer is snowmobile and the last one tourists take it so banyak pelancong uh, menaiki jenis pengangkutan yang ni so the answer is Tuk tuk. Okay, for this practice, what you have to do is listen to the audio that I am going to play for you and then put number one to four based on the audio. Are you ready to listen? Let's begin. Three. Listen and number one to four. One. Travelling by is really fast. It's a lot of fun too. I travelled to France last month. I sat next to the window. It was really cool to be up in the sky. I felt like a bird. Everything below looked so small. 2. I don't like travelling by. Last summer, we went on holiday to an island. The weather was really bad and it was very windy. 
It was really scary. My mum said it was okay, but I don't like the water and I don't know how to swim. Three. I like travelling by. It's really comfortable and fast. You see houses, people, and animals on the way. Once we went through the mountain and suddenly everything went black. That was scary. Four. Travelling by is really good in the city. It is faster than a car, and it's easy to get from one place to another. You have to wear a helmet and watch out for cars. All right, so now we move on to the next exercise, which is exercise four. For this exercise, we are going to do some simple writing. We are going to make true sentences using the words given. All right, so the first one is actually has been given to you, which is traveling by gondola is slow. So now you're going to have to make other true sentences. So let's see for number two. You could also say traveling by gondola is comfortable. Going to school is exciting or going to school is fun is also right. Traveling by bike is slow. Playing the guitar is fun. Or traveling by snowmobile is exciting. Here are some of my examples. So you can try and play around with the words given and change the sentences around so you get more sentences for this practice. Cuba uh, ubah suai perkataan yang diberi dan gabungkan uh, untuk membuat lagi ayat-ayat benar. So good luck and have fun. Thank you everybody. It is such a simple lesson today. But I hope that I will see you again in my next lesson video. So, kalau kamu baru di channel ini and kamu belum lagi tekan butang subscribe, then don't forget to show your support by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Tekan butang loceng untuk dapatkan notifikasi. And also give this video a thumbs up, a like and share it around. Dengan kawan-kawan kamu yang lain supaya kita semua boleh belajar tentang topik uh, getting around uh, di muka surat 62 dan 63. But for now, thank you for joining my class and I see you again soon in my next video. Goodbye and Assalamualaikum.